In this video, I'll show you how to automatically update data in other workbooks. Now, if you're new to my channel, in one of my previous videos, I demonstrated how to automatically update data within the same sheets of the same workbook. If you haven't watched that video yet, the link is available in the description box. Now, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do something somewhat similar, however, between different workbooks. Now, I have two separate workbooks open side by side right now. The first workbook is named the ABC report, and the second workbook is the XYZ report. Now, I want to link these two workbooks together in a fashion that once I update data in one workbook, it will also be updated in the other workbook. And I want this to be automated in a way that once I type something in any cell of sheet A, the other workbook will automatically get updated. So how to do that? So doing that is very simple. So first we need to determine the cells that we want to automate and we want to link. And to do that, I will have to select the target cell in the destination or in the target workbook, which I want to link to the source workbook. In this case, I'm going to select cell A1 from the target workbook. And I want to link that to cell A1 in the source workbook. So I'll type equal sign, and then after typing equal sign, I will left click on cell A1 in the source workbook. And there we go. So these cells have been successfully linked together. Now let's just test this out. I'm just gonna type something in cell A1 of the source workbook. Let's say I type the word data, and then I click on enter. As you can see, these two sheets have been successfully linked together. That is every time I type anything or change or edit anything in the source workbook, it will automatically get updated in the destination workbook. Now, what if I want to expand this? And if you want to expand this to other cells, you just have to drag, but have in mind, you have to remove the reference lock from here first. So you need to remove the dollar signs first before dragging left, right, or down or up. You need to remove this reference lock, unless of course you want all other cells to also be linked to cell A1. In this case, that's not what we want. So I'm gonna remove the dollar signs. You can do that by manually removing them or just clicking on F4 on the keyboard. I'm gonna click on F4 three times and as easy as that, we removed the reference lock and then I will basically drag this down. As you can see, all these cells from uh, cell A1 up to A16 have been linked to the source. Now we can drag it to the right as well. And there we go. All these cells are linked. Now let's uh, apply more data to our source range. Let's say I want to expand this for data. Now, it doesn't have to be data. It could be anything else. But for the sake of the example, I'm just going to use the same entry. I'll drag this all the way down. As you can see, all the records in the source workbook are correctly reflected in the destination workbook. And you can make changes and all those changes will be automatically reflected. Now let's make a change to a random cell. Whatever we put in the source, it will be automatically reflected in the destination. And that's how we can automatically link two workbooks together. As simple as that. A few things that are recommended. The first thing is it is a best practice to organize and store all your linked workbooks in a single folder. And this helps minimize the risk of broken links. That's why it's recommended to regularly back up all workbooks to prevent any possible data loss. And it's important to note that changing the file location of your source workbook could lead to broken links. And if you need to change the destination in which the workbooks are located, it's important to repair those broken links. And doing that is very simple. Let's say you change the destination of your source workbook. Here's what you need to do to avoid broken links. I'm gonna to go to my target workbook, which in this case is the XYZ report. In the case that you change the file location of your source workbook, all you have to do is go to the ribbon, go to data, and click on workbook links in this section over here. Once you do that, the link will show. Now you have the option to break the link, and uh, you can also click on these three dots over here. And upon doing that, this menu opens, which gives you option to break the link altogether or change the source link. Now, if you click on change source, this page appears and here you can browse and select a new source. And that's gonna be the location in which you stored the source file. So that's one thing you need to have in mind in the event that you change the file location in which the source file is stored. But if you don't change the file location, you'll be just fine and this will work perfectly. I hope you found this video useful and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. 
And also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future videos. See you soon.